to my rental today just got done with a small little job I would have showed you guys but like literally I was like fixing a cabinet uh, put some acres in for a uh, towel rack that got I guess torn off or whatnot and hired up a shower head with just you know the ones that are just handheld it just sets in there so right now I'm going to the rental and there's a couple things I want to get done my problem is I just you know I just think end up thinking it's just pops in my head and I'm like oh, I got to do this over there I got to do this I like to be proactive and make sure everything's up to par so what I remember the the two it's a duplex so there's two units next to each other so there's water meters underneath in the crawl space and I remember that that wasn't grounded you have the copper pipes on both sides of the meter and there's usually a ground wire attaching it on both sides because the water meter is not a good conductor because there's their uh, the uh, seals on it so I'm gonna go I, I wanna get those both uh, both those meters grounded or around around the meter and I want to add a second sump pump to my pit even though I just replaced a sump pump I started thinking that I'm better off replacing the uh, sump pump I mean I replace replacing it better off having a second sump pump I'm not adding any no uh, battery backup I not a big fan of those they work you know it's perfect you know usually when you have storms you know it pull it puts the power out and then you know then you have the battery backup which is awesome if the place isn't known for with the power going out I'm not gonna worry about it and those battery backups I swear there's something always going wrong with them well because you have so many moving parts so like you have the battery it's going bad if you don't get the maintenance free battery the uh, you have to add water to the battery or the the battery backup some pump can be bad and those pumps only last I think like three to five hours or something let me know if I'm wrong in the comments so I mean I'm just gonna add another sump pump my favorite my Wayne really it's not even a Wayne it is a Wayne but usually if you start looking around there's only a couple many there's only so many manufacturers that you know make certain stuff so I noticed that Wayne sump pumps I've seen the Wayne sump pump over at Menards and Home Depot but with different names on it and the pumps are identical wow this road is horrific so they're underneath Home Depot they put the rigid name on the Wayne sump pump and they literally identical to it and they just charge outrageous prices for that Wayne sump pump and then for Menard, it's the Campbell. Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, -L, I think that's how you spell it. I'm sure I'm wrong. And then, or you could just order the a Wayne, you know. I, I order my stuff from Supply House, but I just buy it from Menard since they had that loan percent off. Oh, secret too, you can actually get a loan percent off at Home Depot too. They do match it, but you all you have to do is you keep your receipt, you go on Google, and you Google Home Depot loan percent off, and then uh, put your receipt in, and you'll get uh, a gift card. And a side note, I can't remember if I told you guys before, but I actually, the property manager I do work for, um, all their maintenance guys, they have, well, two of their maintenance guys ha actually have rentals. It's kind of funny. And they actually manage them too. And they actually manage mine. I actually I forget that I actually even have a rental sometimes just because it's so hands off. Because I just have the product manager deal with it. And then they'll call me the maintenance or whatever. But 
I don't get no maintenance calls. I try to be proactive. So a nice part of it, well, at least if you're doing it right or trying to do it right, it's usually passive income. They say passive income. They like to spruce it up online about real estate and say, oh, it's all passive, this, this, and that. Not really. Not if you're not doing it right. Like, you have to price in a property manager when you're doing your numbers. There's maintenance. There is, you got to deal with the tenants. And the last time I was having issues, it was not even a big issue. I just said, you know, forget this. I'm not managing no more. I like this property manager. I'm, I'm throwing it that way. Uh, I already did those numbers and I incorporated them. I should have probably waited to have more rental before I did that because really I could manage it. But I just, I, what I've seen, I can actually use my time more wisely and make more money. I don't want to jump over dollars to get pennies. Or uh, what's that saying? Jump over dollars to get dimes or something, whatever. You get my, uh, you get the gist of it. Your time is spent better elsewhere as long as you're making more money than you are spending. Something like that. Kind of weird that uh, these maintenance guys have real estate. They must know something. It's a big investment, and it's not for everybody. It's not for the weak hearted, that's for sure. I'll get you some shots. Okay, so we are at the sump pump pit, and I forgot how small this thing was. Yeah, I was here last time I put a Wayne in here. Three quarter horse. Way more than I need. Put this nice check valve here. I purposely put that there for more uh, rigidity. It's all PVC. Usually I deal with my uh, Zoller. That's what I'm gonna put in today. But, and you can see I use all this primer and glue. Now I, now I just use the one step. I don't mess around anymore. The one step with the primary and glue together. Yeah. So. Uh, there's foam in there. Okay. So. I already pre uh, cut those blocks. And I'm just going to set the sump pump on there. What a pain in the butt. I'm surprised this thing's actually uh, rusting already. I guess they all rust. Maybe not Zollers. Yeah, but they got a problem with their switch. So I'm good on that. So we'll do this fitting on here real quick. A little overkill. Never killed nobody. Gotta be careful because this stuff sets up really fast. I'm already taking too long. Overkill. You hold it. So you don't want it to come off. Way too much glue on here. You don't want to go crazy with this because it's all PVC, even though I am sure I over tighten it. Well, we're waiting for that to set up. This thing, like, this glue is like made for, like, it'll set up in like four minutes. That's why I love this stuff. In the cold or the hot. So, little background, not too much background, but yeah, this is my this is the poor man's uh, encapsulation. I had to bring up the grate on the outside of this house, the duplex, and before I did all that, I wanted to get all this um, 
keep the moisture issue at bay. This place uh, was full of mold. Full of it. Like, to 90%. And I just used like Promar, Pro, not Promar, um, RMR 86 Pro, which is just a stain remover they claim. It kills the mold. I mean, I, I'm no, I don't specialize in the mold removal, but you know, they say to use RMR 86 Pro, then they say use RMR uh, 141, and that's supposed to have, uh, I think, a perox more peroxide base, and uh, it's supposed, supposed to kill the roots. But if you look up on Google, and anytime mold has, or anytime wood has mold, literally, uh, you're supposed to throw it away, but you're not what are you gonna throw away a house, you know? And they like to make these claims. I mean, look, I killed it a year and a half ago, never came back. As long as you get rid of the issue, it won't should have come back. It'd be a nice test to actually, you know, put RMR 86 Pro, then use RMR uh, 141, then introduce it back to moisture and see if the mold grows in the same spot because there's roots in it. And there, there's actually a mold inhibitor. For uh, in in the RMR 141. Oh yeah, I am not telling you what to do with mold. You know, it's uh, not my forte. I am not a specialist, so don't quote me on it. I'm just telling you what I did. So this is the finished product. Ah, eh, she's a little cockeyed. It's okay, it's not for a customer's house, it's for mine, so. Little cockeyed. Let's see how far we're off. Nine and three quarter. Uh, I'm probably about three eighths of an inch off. Not bad. I'm okay with that. I won't lose any sleep. It's just for my rental. Way more than anybody else does anyways, right? So here's the one meter I was talking about. No ground. Because there's uh, the rubber washers are right here. It's not... And uh, this touching like that, you know, this grabs on the outside. And then it's, there's threads here. It's not a good enough ground. Same thing for the other one. Just kind of floating over there. You can't really see it there not floating but you get my drift so I'm just gonna stuff it up stuff it up and I'm gonna put these uh, clamps on them they're bronze I don't want to use zinc because this is copper they're gonna clamp around and you shove the wire in here There's a slot. Easy peasy. I'm not gonna decide where I want the wire. I'll probably run on the side. Side on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna run it low. Running it low. Oh, because I really can't tighten it up, so I guess I'm running it horizontal. Or this way, I should say. Don't over tighten it, but you don't want to under tighten it either. Nice sn and snug. Because you want to bend the copper pipe. Then I had number six wire. This is actually from my tower climbing days. I have 100 amp services here. And you can see it's actually copper, but it's actually tin coated. 
we don't need all this, but leftover wire. With a little slack in it, just in case. And also I made sure I stayed away from the valve. So you don't, it won't interfere with turning it off. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Nice and easy peasy. I'm grounding this because the uh, electrical is actually, you know, one of the grounds is actually one, you know, that goes to the uh, water line. This goes in the ground. You wanna make sure you have a good ground. So. You want it all the way through. Yeah, so I actually was the one that actually piped in all these lights. And I remember um, when this unit was vacant, uh, my sump pump still worked. So there's some Romex I tied in, which the previous landlord tied in. Well, I want to say them because it could have been the builder. But the uh, there was lights down here. So, I just piped it all in. I stole the Romex, or I just hooked up to the Romex and piped it all in. So, I don't like that I put both these outlets on one um, unit. In case one unit goes vacant, um, then I'm screwed. Because then the sump pump won't work. So, I'm going to pull... I forgot what wire I pulled. Did I only pull 14? No, it should be 12, right? Yeah, I pulled 12. <sighs> it was nice of me to pull that. You know, that could have been that light. I think that's the light. So it's the humidifier. I put on different circuits. And see how these Romexes, I added these outlets in. Purposely didn't put the uh, GFIs because I don't want no issues. So. This is the pipe, and this Romex is feeding this, and I used everything off of this Romex. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to either use a piece of Romex, go there, or I'm going to, use half inch uh, greenfield and go here to there and then from there I'm gonna open up all these lights and I'm gonna pull another circuit all the way down I'm gonna run from here let's get the measurement I'm just gonna cross it I don't care that should be good right around there Good enough, close enough. Get your mark. My little truck bandsaw. Bloody of mine back then. Brought this up to me, which I thought was weird. Now I do it ever since. Like he cut this and then it's like a little jagged. He's just ream it out. Usually you just ream out pipe. I never heard anybody actually ream it out greenfield. Takes two seconds. That's good.
So now I can grab power from here. It's going to go to here. Now we just have to pull it all the way down now. And I already opened up all the lights. Yeah, I was all crazy about doing all this stuff right and nice, and since, since I piped it in, I'm like, now since it's just my place, I'm just gonna, I don't care, I'm just gonna support it, be done with it, so I'm not even piping it in, because I could have did something nice, oh, look at that, see, I could have went this way, over, and come right back in around the crossing, but I don't care. It's not going to make it run any better. I mean, look at better. Crossing. Crossing. Look good. Looks good for my house. supposed to be supported with, with, within 12 inches of the box the flex I got a ground in each box okay so I'm pulling 12 gauge I already got it tied to my string and I already pulled it all the way down there the, well I have fed string and I uh, have Harbor Freight down there <laughs> Harbor Freight I'm just gonna start it off. It's probably gonna probably gonna fight this, but and I started pushing some of it. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. I just pulled the wire caddy out further. And I keep in mind I already have a ground in this box. I mean that uh raceway. Oh, what am I caught on? Use some Wagos. My favorite now. You can tell I used to always do wire nuts. See the lever nuts? Wagos. Life is good. White to white. Further. I'm going to tie this one last because uh, that's got power. I'm going to tie all the rest of it first and then when I'm ready I'll tie it in. I'm going to make one outlet, one circuit, and the other outlet, another circuit. Don't forget to shut the power off. Mine, mine is still on. How do I want to do this?
I don't blow nothing. It goes connecting to neutral. Well, it shouldn't. Because it's the end of the line for the outlets. You always want to be careful with disconnect neutrals. Live, especially. Come on. You can still get hit on a neutral. nuts because the wire nuts are one time use <sighs> okay these are dead thing is up. Oops, to chop like a half inch off for the way it goes. So now, all I gotta do is just stuff the wires back in the box. But if you see, that's the circuit. That's the circuit we uh, pulled. And I just attached it to this outlet. So now this outlet's dead right now, and this outlet's still on that other circuit. So now all I gotta do now is just tie it into the hot, and then we're gonna have two different circuits right here. And I'm gonna label it too. 